Hello and welcome, dearest. I'm Grandma Mimsy, and today is National Coffee Day. We did a very quick rush reverse stamping of all things coffee, uh, but using the plate uh, M273 so that we could celebrate National Coffee Day. You may or may not still be able to get something in your area, and every year most places out there that are National Coffee Change do offer some sort of fun thing to do on National Coffee Day. Check out your local area and see what you can find. But I wanted to share with you today a color comparison because in my last video showing how to do the bat tip, or excuse me, the bat French tip manicure kind of quickie that Find a plate, get you a plate. There's lots of happy plates out there. Have lots of bats on them for Halloween. And you stamp the tip of your nails. And the funny thing is that Hubster thought that in that manicure that the white part was painted white. And that actually is my nail. So I guess that's kind of a compliment. So if anybody else thought the same thing in that manicure, I used clear and I used the Polish Cosmos that was this one, B433, to stamp the bats, and that's it. So I guess I must be doing right, something right, if the, the, the white part of my nail actually resembles nail polish. Either that or it's not. I'm not sure which way to go. <laughs> anyway, on to the comparison. And thank you, Mrs. D. She had a question in regards to seeing the difference between were the differences between coconut and frozen because they looked similar to her. So I know that color and things can be um, difficult to envision when you are watching on a screen. And so I'm hoping that this will do some justice. So this here I can tell because it's very frosty and let's see if we can zoom this in so that you can then see maybe the the difference is that frozen has kind of a speckliness to it and i did paint this kind of quickly if you're not careful in the brush strokes frozen will leave the lines of the brush and oh there we go we're not getting the glare so i hope you can see there's that and then this is coconut and coconut has more of a slight beige tan shading and it is a cream finish instead of this one being a sparkly finish and then comparing both of these we will show you because I did white and this is BAM white and you see the distinction that BAM white has compared to frozen it is similar to coconut but frozen has more of a sparkle finish and Coconut does stamp a very clear, specific line. Um, using it in something, you do have that creaminess in your stamps that it will pick up solid lines, it'll pick up fine lines, and um, does a wonderful job in stamping. It's just not as white as the BAM white is, and it is not nearly as white as Frozen is. The only issue I have with Frozen, and I love Frozen a lot, is that it is very fair. So if you're trying to do something that is delicate or you want it to pop like the BAM White, it won't. It, it will kind of blend in. And on some things that's okay. You want it to do that. And other things it's not as distinctive as I would hope it to be. It doesn't actually show up in contrast in an extreme way. But it's a lovely shade it works really well as a base and for me frozen is one of those ones that it's not a thin layer polish it is a thicker where you want to flood the nail so that it levels out and does what it needs to do and you don't see all the streaks or you can use one of the um the plates that maniology has and i'm gonna try and reach and grab over here without knocking everything over you can use, here's my, I know I have them. I just can't get my fingers in there. 
there we are okay so they have the the block images that it does more of the flat line and so this one because you're scraping and doing all the things on that uh is m3 wow m319 oh there we go and then the other plate is the m052 and has the blocking plate that's the square and yeah you can see all the i use that plate a lot because hello you can tell there's a lot of things on that and with those because you're doing the scraping and using your uh, stamper you get a solid finish that goes across and you eliminate the brush strokes that you would have with frozen so that's kind of how i tend to do that one with that one because a lot of times you don't want those brush strokes to to show through so uh, I recommend those plates for that feature because that helps with a lot of the polishes that have that very sparkly, very clear uh, texture visibility in them. But I hope that helps with the comparison of the three polishes so that you can see the difference between how Frozen shows up versus how Coconut shows up. And coconut sometimes does have also the brush streaks. Again, I was doing a very quick polish on these ones just to be able to show that compared side by side, these colors are in the similarities, but they are very distinctly different. And if you understand anything about color, ther th color theory and or a stage in color or uh, creative design in color or walk into a paint store and go stand where all the paint swatches are there are more shades of white and variations of white than you can um, even it'll it'll just blow your mind how they all have different names but yet it's all white but there's a subtleness to the differences of how they line up and Maniology does a really good job of this in their polishes, how they have so many shades of colors that are so similar, but the effects are com make them completely different and it's worth having more than one shade. So as I've done another video on the essentials of colors, you will find that even though you're not necessarily a color uh, category, that uh, yellows or oranges or reds or greens, whichever the color it is that is not your favorite color, you will find that even though you don't necessarily like that color per se to wear that as a, an outfit or to have accessories or to just put that as a base, that might not be your shade, but you're going to figure out along the way that there's going to be every color of the spectrum you're going to end up with and figure out, I need to get that color for because as you're doing nail art and you're implementing different things along the way, you will find, <laughs> you'll go, oh crud, I don't have a certain shade to match what I want to do. Yeah, just get the shades because <laughs> you'll be happier in the long run. With, with obviously, you know, frugal spending and budget wise and don't break the bank and, you know, make good decisions in that thing. That if it's within your, your ability to accomplish, then accomplish as your ability uh, allows you to accomplish. Uh, don't just go buy it because I say so. But I'm just saying, don't let the, the emotional struggle bog you down from getting the shades that will add to your collection and your enjoyment of nail art. Because even when you don't like what you end up with, hey, there's a remover, you can start all over again. And it's so much fun. That whole Zen process of working on something creative creative and creatively feeds the soul in so many ways even if you don't think you're a creative person it still feel, feeds a part of you you didn't know you needed to feed and once you do you won't go back i wish you well i wish you much kindness please be kind because you never know what someone's going to going through or, or having to deal with and there's far too many people out there that are miserable and looking for company and the problem with that is they're always recruiting. So don't let them recruit you. Please be kind. Have a wonderful day. Bye.